What is going on guys? I'm back again with another video and we are doing nickels today. I got a full box here. Let's go ahead and open these up. We're going to be looking for buffaloes. We're looking for silver. Hopefully these are circulated. All right, let's see. And the verdict. They are, looks like they're going to be circulated. All right, let's get into them. Let's see if we can find something good. All right, I don't see any enders. Let's go ahead and get this started. So we got our first find out of the box and it's right here. Let's take a look and see what we got. Looks like 1958. I usually keep like 1958 on down. 58 and that does have a mint mark. Let's see if there's any RPMs. We'll put it under the scope. And doesn't look like it. All right, we're moving on. All right, guys. I am, I don't even know where I am. I've done quite a few rolls. Uh, I was not finding a whole lot. I actually ended up finding a, a 1956. 1956 Denver. I didn't film it. Uh, I almost had start giving up because I wasn't finding anything. And that just popped out. This just popped out. That's going to be silver. Oh, man. I was starting to get really worried about this box. And that popped out. That is a Philadelphia wartime nickel. Let's see what date we got. It's the 1944. That's 35% silver. It's really, really worn. But I saw that color when it popped out. And I was like, oh, boy. I should have I should have kept on filming. So that's awesome. Let's see if we had anything else in the roll. Uh, that that gives me some new hope, guys, because I was really starting to get uh, worried. What is that? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? 1942, same roll. Boy, that almost looks fake. 1942 Philadelphia. Uh, this one is not. A wartime nickel, but uh, 42s can be silver. Halfway through the year, they started making silver ones. But this one does not have the large mint mark, so it is not silver. That's awesome. 1942. Anything else? All right. Well, maybe we still have a good chance. Oh. Oh, man. I thought I saw Clip Planchet there for a second. Man, I, was, I thought we were getting really super lucky. All right, that looks like that is going to be it for this roll. Let's keep going. All right, it's been quite a few rolls, and I finally just got something else. And it's right there. We're in the 40s again, guys. 1949. Missed the key date by one year. 1915D is the key date. 49, let's see if it's got a mint. And it is a Philadelphia, 1949 Philly. Very next roll, guys. We're getting older. We're getting older. 1946, I think. Yeah, 1946. That's awesome. Let's flip it. And again, another Philly. All right. Oh, also, uh, there was a 1956 that I didn't film. So there was one other one that I just didn't film. It wasn't that exciting. So I didn't film it. All right, let's keep going. All right, I just opened up this roll and something popped out that looked old to me. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be old. 19, what is it? 1940, 1940. At first I thought it was silver because it was so grayish looking. Ooh, it's got some stuff on the back of it. Looks like probably a Philadelphia common coin though. Uh, but that's awesome. We're getting older. We could maybe still hit a buffalo. Oh, we have double trouble, guys. Check this out. This is pretty awesome. 1954 on this side of the roll. 1954, and let's flip it. It is a Philadelphia. And then look over here. 1954. We got double 1954. That's pretty awesome. Is it a Philly? Oh, it's a Denver. So that one was a Denver. That was pretty cool. 
All right, guys, the box is really heating up now. Uh, here are two that I found in the last row. I didn't, I didn't film it. 1954 and another 1956. So we ended up getting uh, three 54s in a row. There's the other two right there. But check this out. Look what I just got in this roll. So we're starting over here. 1947. That is a 1947. Uh, Denver. Then look at this. Another 1942. Is it going to be silver? I don't know. It's not. It's another Philly. We had so many chances. Oh, that one looks old too right there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? 1940, and that's not even it, guys. I didn't even see that one. Uh, where's the other one? The other one's over here. 1952. Wow, four of them. And, oh, and it's an S Smith mark. We need to check that. Let's check that, make sure. It is the S, okay. Wow, four out of one roll. Was there anything else in there? I feel like there should be a, there should be a buffalo in that roll. Uh, oh my gosh, are you serious? Look at that, 1949. It's trash though, 49D. Dude, what a crazy roll, five of them in one roll. Well, we ended up with a ton of older dates out of this box. No buffaloes, however, we did get silver, so I'm pretty excited about that did get the one silver 1944 hope you guys enjoyed this video we will see you next time and as always happy hunting